Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Silver Dragon here, coming at you once again with some more From the Depths. Going to be continuing where we last left off on the campaign here today. Of course, now we do have an enemy attack that is incoming. We did manage to survive fairly well for the first hour last time around. And now we got another wave of enemies coming our way that we need to defeat. And I do have my trusty little missile turret here to help me do that. Let me see if I can uh, add a couple more bits and pieces to it. Man, we are incredibly low on, well, everything, actually, I should say. <laughs> I should say. Alright, resources. Ammo barrels. There we go. That should help a little bit. Now, we're 55 seconds, 50 seconds away from attack, or from being under attack. Let me see if I can modify this thing slightly. Let's remove this. Let me add a missile torpedo, six-way connector. I want to raise it up a little bit so it isn't interfering as much with it if I can. I don't know how well this will work, but we'll see what happens. Could aim better, could not aim better. We'll see what happens. And let me see here. Let me go blocks. That's going to cost me way too much. I want to armor this a little bit in case it gets hit on the front. That would keep it from just collapsing. I was testing around a bit before with uh, these weapons. And it got hit in the central piece right here. And the whole thing just collapsed on me. Okay, so we are under attack. So we have three enemies over that way. They do have a flyer. Actually, let's see if the AI can control this thing fairly well. I'm not sure how well they will actually control it. But let's take a look and try it out. Wireless receiver. Quickly, local webs controller. Oh, 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 oh! Boom! Oh, shakalaka! Oh, yeah! Oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Oh, it actually deflected my missiles because they weren't too ready to fire there. But I did take out most of his engines, so he's got like nothing to support him now. He's got like absolutely nothing to support him. Once my missile fires, he is dead. Oh, it's going to be nice. Ooh, do you see that? And he's downed. He is downed. Okay, let's go get in my uh, drill ship here and go finish him off. Beautiful. So an AI controls it really well. Now there is a downside. There is a downside to using missiles. I should mention. Let me quickly go over here and turn on my drills. Missiles use up a lot of fuel. Or a lot of fuel. A lot of something, something, something dark side, apparently. Not fuel. Oh, that's what I'm looking for. They use up a lot of ammo, and ammo consumes a lot of resources, so you really do want to stagger it out a bit if you can. Unfortunately, you can see that the AI is firing my missiles long range. Right at that point, the thrusters or the fuel tanks are no longer sufficient to keep them going. So let me see if I can... Oh, screw it. One second. Let me control this thing better. There we go. I gotta go turn that thing off before it wastes any missiles. I can enable it when I need it, but when I don't need it, I need to disable it, because otherwise we are wasting so much ammo right now on these missiles. Like a ridiculous amount of ammo. Or ammo. Ammos. There we go. Okay, that disables that. Let's get back on my drill ship and go take care of these pucks, shall we? Alright. Quickly. Urch, urch. Full speed ahead. Attack! Oh, wait. I messed up my camera. There we go. Attack! Oh, fuck me again. Damn it! Urch, urch. 
Yeah, it is a little oversensitive right now for the camera. But anyway, there we go. Attack! Okay, much better. Anyway. Be going to drill, you fool. Oh, yes. This is going to be good. <laughs> Poor bastard. Not even going to know what hit him. I definitely need to mess around with my cannon and lower its, uh, raise its required accuracy. It's getting a little too iffy for me here. Oh, there's the explosion. Another one. Bats of dust. Turn. Urgh, full thrust. That's been replaced. Top bit is getting replaced. And I am going to change this thing up here soon as well. I need... I, I always... Like all my designs, I screw up one major component every time. I don't really add a nice weighted keel to the ship. And it is incredibly important that it has a weighted keel so that it can actually... You know, not fall apart, kind of like a lot of my ships do. Oh, there's an explosion. Okay, so that's another enemy annihilated. So let me stop my ship for a second here. A TG. Okay, build. Oh, no, that's not build, that's V. Okay, B. Alright, let's go on down here now. For the main thing that I always forget to do. Let's use stone. Doesn't make the perfect heal, but... Or keel. Heal. <laughs> the hell am I smoking? But it should help. So with that, we should be a little bit more weighted down. And should be flipping out nearly as much. Okay. Let me turn these off. There we go. Turn off the drills. We can head back now. And once we get back, I'm probably going to modify this thing a little bit more. Probably going to pull the back, well, back again. And where the hell is? There it is. Man, this fog. I need to be able to see farther than I can. Anyway, let's get on back. Start transitioning over to a next area, to a new area here soon. Uh, I guess I'll take my command ship back. I shall take, yeah, I'll take both these back to resource zone one. I'm probably going to add the fortress control AI to the uh, ship so that it can basically, all it really does is it tells the ship to go to the resource zone. That's it. That's the only thing it does. It doesn't really, well, there's not really much else for it to do, to be completely honest. So, yeah. Anyway, way hey and up she rises, way hey and up she rises, way hey and up she rises early in the morning. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's what this game needs. That's exactly what this game needs. Sea shanties, most definitely. I have now solved the only remaining issue towards this game. Sea shanties. Ah, <laughs> uh, I must alert the dev immediately. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, no. Let's uh, retreat back here. Return. Alright, then I'll modify this thing quickly, and we can get to work. Kicking ass, taking aims, destroying our enemies. One poor sucker at a time. Okay, let me get off this thing quickly, see where the hell we are at. Looks like we're quite a bit of ways, so let me go and add on the Fortress Control AI. Build AI and Fortress AI. Looks like I need to waste a little bit of power on this thing first. Or power. I need to waste some resources on this thing first before I do that. You know what? It's time we add the second engine. Uh, engines. Engine block. Let me use the engine block to remove all these quickly. 
Okay, now I need to space this just right, so right about here. Get a bunch of crankshafts. Now, I want to do the opposite of what is currently set up here. So if right here, we'll go cylinders. If I'm doing this correctly. Yes, I am doing this correctly. Okay, good. I was worried I might have gotten batshit crazy. It's good to know I haven't. Yet. Maybe later, if I feel like it. You know, the day is just not full, if it is, is just not completed if you haven't gone batshit crazy at least once. <laughs> Alright, so, engine zone fuel tanks. Now you can see why I did this. It's segregating out the blocks so that all of the central shafts, once I have three engines here, all of everything that's in the center here will have at least four units actually working with it. That should make this an incredibly efficient engine. Okay. Okay. Let me get a couple more crankshafts then. Uh, let's go carburetors. About time I added on a couple more of those uh, superchargers, I think. Cylinders. That's probably all I'll do here. So, let me get a supercharger in. Carburetors. Carburetor. Sweet. Okay, now let's replace this thing and see if it's a little less dying on me. Better, better. You can see there's at least a little bit of red, so no matter what it's doing, it still has enough. So I'm happy with that. That's good to know that this fortress will not just disintegrate on me the moment I leave. Now I'll have to go back to that guy in a bit and collect him. But I'll leave this to the ship for now. I want to keep following it just in case anything goes wrong. Now the higher the ship is the more it'll actually use up as well. Hopefully it can get a little bit higher than this though before it just, you know, decides to self-destruct. But hey. We can only do what we can do. It's moving us back fairly fairly well. I am sliding though, that's the one thing. You know, I guess I am gotten rocket legs, so I shouldn't be surprised if I'm sliding back. But, you know, it's a little annoying. Okay, let's get some exhausts. Let me turn on my scrap making machines. I want some scraps. Give me all my scraps. Even though it'll use up all my metal. Still. I'm not going to keep it on for too long. Just enough to build this one, then I'll go shut it off. Unless there's... No, there's, one up, there's two up front I want to place as well. So I'll place these guys, and then we'll be good. Now the engine's even doing even better than it was before. So these make a difference. So, you know, unless there's a few people that don't... Well, at least I hope there's a not a few people that don't use the exhaust. Because <laughs> sometimes it doesn't seem like the exhaust does anything, but... In combination with the entire setup, it does make a big difference. Exhaust. There we go. Okay, let's go shut it off before we're low or out of an or out of metal. There we go. Okay, just barely made it. Now let me go get my other ship. I doubt I'm going to have enough to modify this. I'll probably just tear apart the metal bulkheads on my uh, flying fortress there and replace them with wood. That will give me enough metal to modify this beast. Oh, land! Perfect! Perfect! Let me go blocks, wood block, wood block. Because this thing wasn't even, and that bugged me. That bugged me a little. Okay, let me kind of tab. Get on up here. And then steer away. Yeehaw! 
Oh yeah, adding that keel on there has definitely helped a little bit. Should now be at the resource zone. Should be stopping soon and collecting the resources. Now I'm going to modify this thing fairly extensively. At least I hope to. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Uh, it's a good thing I didn't have the have the thing turned on. That would have been bad. There we go. Okay. Let's get off the chair. Get off the chair. La la la. Let me get over here for a second. Now it wants to go dead center. Which is the only thing I'm not agreeing with as much. I doubt this thing's going to be moving anytime soon, so I'll disable that now. Oh, no, it's done. Okay, I'll let it to I'll leave it to its thing then. Let me remove a couple of these. Turn these guys on again for a second so I can get some more scrap. And we replace this with wooden beams. And left and down and left and up and left and crazy. But no. I don't want to get too, too much with this, but I do need a lot of scrap. Okay. I'll turn that one off. And I guess this one as well now. Alright, so let's go modify my beast. Oh, one thing. One thing before I go. Come on, let me up, let me up, let me up. Ah, screw you then. There we go. There we go. Much better. I wanted to raise this thing out of the water because it just seemed odd to me. It was bugging me a little bit. Okay. Begin modifications. Hmm. Okay. Let's go simple weapons. Drill. Vertical splitter, drill extender, horizontal splitter. Drill extender times two. Okay. Is this perfect? Oh, I yeah, know I have to actually extend the drill up one as well. So then I go large drill bit. Large drill bit. Large drill bit. Okay, let me kind of remove these. Uh, vertical splitter. Extension. Horizontal splitter. Extension times two. Extend that up. Let's go drill bit large. Drill bit large, and drill bit large. Now this thing looks ridiculously beast, does it not? Let's turn it on and see what happens. Obviously the engines are having difficulty. That's why I'm also going to be modifying them a little bit. Oh, it looks good though. Yeah, I might actually have to extend this whole thing depending, because I might want to enhance the power a little bit of this thing. No, no, as long as I as long as I adjust the engines, I'm satisfied. Blocks, wood, wood. Let's remove this protective barrier here. And modify my little beast. Thank you for all your hard work. I will remove bits of you now. That's probably good. We don't want to pull this out too, too much, and it doesn't really need it. Okay, let's go engines, crankshaft. Uh, I guess I have to get the engine block. I don't have a choice. Okay. Okay, carburetors. Cylinders. 
Let me go back to the ship and turn on the parts that I'm missing right now. Fly! I'll have to turn on both of these guys right now. But yeah, it seems like metal is def definitely not mining as fast as it should be. Everything else is, but metal is definitely being an issue. Hmm. Whatever, as long as I, once I get a whole bunch of different mines set up in different locations, I'm sure I'll have to worry less about it. But it'll always be an issue, I'm sure. Okay, let me turn off one of those and head over here. Head back to the ship. That should give me what I need. Okay, let's go carburetor. Cylinder. Carburetor. I have to wait a minute. What's carb going to get me? Oh, yeah, carb is 60s. 60. Luckily, engine zone fuel tank doesn't matter. Okay, how many do I have? One, two, and then I have two of the superchargers. Okay, that'll be fine. Okay, blocks, wood block, wood block. And let me go shut that down. Space. Whoop, 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 whoop. Turn that off. Till I can find a better source of metal. Metal! Eh, eh, there we go. Whee! I can fly! Oh, and actually, engine. I completely forgot about the exhausts. How could I? How monstrous of me. Actually, one second. Goes right here. And that's it. Okay, blocks would block. Okay. Engine, or not engines, water, propeller, propeller, propeller. Hey, what do I need for propeller? A hundred metal. Ugh. Shite. You're gonna force me to go tear apart my ship again, aren't you? You bastard. Well, fine. Fine, fine. Ah, let's sigh. I really want to stop having to tear down my, you know, scavenge my ship here for, for parts. Every single time I need a little bit of metal. Alright, that's all I'm taking. Let's go unlock the next resource area. Which will take a little bit of battling. Okay, let's see. Water, propeller. Let me go blocks, stone. I want to, now that I've advanced this thing further back, I will upgrade my keel. Okay, that should work fine. Keep me from flying off the rails, as it were. Okay, let's take a look here. Looks like... Exit the map. Oops. Yeah, they're not sending any attacks anymore right now. Return area map. Okay, so let's work on taking up some more of their territories. So I'm going to engage that with my starting rig. We're going to go obliterate these poor suckers. Engage this area. I may add a single turret or missile turret to my ship just to give me something against air units. But I shouldn't have to worry about that for a while, I hope. Oh, yeah. They're having a lot less difficulty now. Turning on. So where's my enemies at? Three of them. That away. Actually, four of them. Ah, makes no difference. As long as they have no flyers. If they have a flyer, I'll have to destroy the other three and then leave and come back with something mod with a modified ship. Oh, those poor bastards. They don't even know the hell that is coming down on them. <laughs> it's going to be glorious. I can also add another top one to each side. One right there and one right there. Maybe. But this seems to work really well as it is. Except for, you know, adding more torque to the thing. In which case, I may have to disa disable. Disassemble the front end or something. Because I would have to move a lot of components. Lengthen the whole thing quite a bit. But yes, man. Drills drills are the boss. And my engine should be able to keep them powered up more than enough. Here, I hope, at least. 
We'll see what happens. We've got some ball, great balls of fire flying our way. Hmm. It's not likely, but it is also quite possible. They could take out my entire rig in one shot if they exceedingly got lucky and got a shot through that dead center and, you know, had enough power to it to destroy the whole center of this uh, ship. It could potentially take out my entire drilling rig. But that would be, you know, ridiculously rare for something like that to happen. Oh, it's only these guys. Wow, those poor bastards. They don't stand a chance. There's one. Engaging three enemies. Next. Yeah, these guys only have tiny cannons. So they don't stand a chance. They're going down easily. There's the explosion. Oh, that's some minor damage. It's all repaired now. Let me slow down here a moment. Kind of do a little bit of a, a quick turn. Oh man, I love this ship. So yeah, we definitely could add a lot more power to this thing. More torque to it so that it would, you know, rip through our enemies even better. Because all the ones I'm facing so far have, what the hell is it called? Wood hulls. The moment I come up against a steel hulled ship, we're going to have problems. Actually, I think I have an idea. Ooh, that might actually work really well. I'll need a bigger engine as well at some point. But I have an idea. That might just work really well. Where's the other one? There he is. Quick turn. Over to the right now. And we're going to go ram this little bastard. I'm a coming for you. Oh, damn. That was actually a good shot. That was actually a good shot. So basically what I'm going to do is, I'm going to widen the center section of the ship, and I'm going to stretch out the batteries, because I can hook battery to battery, and it will connect all the way back to the uh, to the central core, as it were. And they're dealt with. So if I do the, do it that way, I can widen that and pretty much, you know, I can stretch the, you know, the power of this thing all the way to the back if I wanted to. It would just be off to the sides. All right, let me stop the ship. Interesting indeed. Oh, let's say I'll bring this back a bit more. We'll do it about halfway for now. So about yay. Far, give or take. Okay. So Let's go simple, drill, and I want power inputs. It's connected. Blocks with blocks. These are going to have to be removed. as we are going to have a whole new section in here in a moment. So let me go ahead and modify this side as well while we're at it. Let me turn this off for a second here. Seems to be steering me along a bit. OK. 
Ok. Perfect. Alright, we will pull that one up a little bit. Okay. Now, drills. Drills, 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 drills. Simple weapon. Drill. Power. Input. Of madness. That should be about good enough to stop it. Okay. Now let's get the torque amplifiers. And the good thing about doing it like this as well, we add power inputs here as well, is that while they're in the center here, they'll get the they'll get even better effect. At least they should. There we go. Something along the lines of that. Oh shit. Not what I intended. Not what I intended. Okay. Blocks, wood block, wood block. Okay. Simple weapons, drills, torque block. Oh, we're low on metal again. Aren't we always? Aren't we always low on metal? Alright, let me remove a couple sections of this here. So I'll bring the whole thing back to there. So we'll extend it later when I get more metal. I'll go drill a couple ships to death. A couple more ships to death, that is. To get the metal I need. Okay. Blocks. Wood blocks. Since it's only gone this far, I'll go like this. All right. Perch. There we go. Perfect. Now, let me just get rid of this bit right here and then seal off the rest. Perfect. Okay. This looks good. This looks good. So let's see what happens now when I... Well, I'll put up my defenses here in a minute. But, uh, actually, no, screw it. I'll finish them now because I already went into the build menu. Nah. Here we go. Perfect. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh yeah, the engine's really dying just to get this thing running now. Look at that. Look how fast that's spinning now. It's taking a long time for that engine to get these things up to torque power. Okay, let's take a look here. We're not under attack yet. Next one is enemy guard strength of 6. Let me actually save. May as well save over slot 1. I've already saved over slot 1, so... Might as well. Okay, map... Let's go after this one. That way we'll be able to see where the heck we're going. Or, well, we'll be able to uh, see more areas where there could potentially be resources to mine. Engage this area. Oh, yes. You know what? Let me see if I can... Water. Air pump. I want to get some air pumps in here. Oh damn, they're like 50 a pop on, or 60 actually. Alright, fine, I'll kill these guys and then I'll build it. I have one enemy here at a strength of 6, this will be interesting. Let's go get him. Oh, this is going to rip him to absolute shreds. Uh, the only difficulty I foresee is eventually running up against a metal enemy. In which case, I don't know how well we're going to do against him. But we'll see what happens when it happens. Yep. 
There he is. I can see if you see if you look at him, you can see a little burst in the <laughs> background a little bit there. That is actually the radar, which helps him shoot down enemy aircraft. This may actually be a significant enemy ship. We'll have to see what happens. If I start seeing a whole lot of bullets or something coming at me, I'll know. This does look bigger than the ones I'm used to. Let's see if I can... Oh, give me a second. I have... Frickin' pain in the ass origin pinging me for shit, and I can't remove it. What the hell, origin? Well, I may have to control up to lead origin. Oh, well. I'll screw with that later. Right now, we got a ship to ram. Let me go near the front here. I want to watch my drills just shred this guy to bits. Oh, no. It's just a, one of the central gunships. I thought it was something better. I'm disappointed. Ah, uh, did a slight tingle. That nicked me a bit. Oh, you poor bugger. You should be dodging. Right about now. You don't stand a chance, my friend. Unless you happen to get really, really lucky. I should put like a shield generator in front of this thing. Oh, this is going to be a good view. This is going to be a really good view. Goodbye. Oh, absolute shreddage. Shredder wins. Fatality. I want to finish him now. Ram him! Oh, no, it's done. I can't engage him anymore. Okay, next map. Ah, here we go. We have metal, scrap, and oil in this one. And it's level 10 strength, though. Deep water will be pissed at me if I attack it. But you know what? Deep water can kiss my ass. Because <laughs> they're the ones who are assaulting me without provocation here in the beginning. So they can kiss my white so-and-so. Anywho, engage. Let's see what they got. Let's see what they got. Hopefully they won't have anything significant here. Or flying ships or anything. It's always the flying ships. That's the one thing I dread. So we've got three different enemies. So I don't have too much problem moving at the same time. If I start getting something like the volley attacking me, though, this ship will start to become a lot more redundant. Unless I, you know, transform it and turn it into, like, a gigantic metal drill ship of death. In which case, I might need the large propeller as well. Oh, crap. Is that what I think it is? Fuck! It's a flyer. It's a flyer. Shit. Okay, quickly. I need to eliminate it. Let's go... Constructibles! 360-degree turret. Turret. Whoops, not what I intended to do. Let me quickly go... Missiles, torpedoes. Uh, shit. Missile controller. Six-way connector. Launch pad. Uh, laser emitter. Quickly load. Frag. Load. Oh, yes, and I need resources. Shit. I can't build it right now. Map. Let's retreat to friendly area. Retreat to friendly area. Actually, I think I'll build this behind me if I can. Yeah, I'll build this on the back. Mm. There we are. Okay. Let's go... Constructibles. 360 degree turret. Turret.
This should be fine. Okay. Actually, what am I doing? I don't need to do this. I completely forgot I had this thing set up and I didn't even... Wow, I feel like a bit of a derp. Actually, I feel like a lot of a derp, but I will just say a little bit and call it at that. Okay, let's go resources, ammo barrels, blocks, and I'll put up a couple metal blocks to protect it. Okay, I completely forgot that I can go into build menu, load sub objects, and I have my frag missile launcher right here. The 360 degree turret. We don't have enough resources, what does it require? 570 metal. It's the one thing we're lacking right now. Hmm, crap. I don't have much choice, do I? Nope, I'll have to build a custom one for now and then build a new one later, or build that one later. Okay, let's go. Control pad, six way connector, let's go launch pad. Actually, let's do a double. Missile laser emitter, actually, let me go six way connector, followed by a laser emitter. And one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Oh, fuck. Do I have a metal? Damn you! Um, let me set you to one. Alright, I'll remove those temporarily so I can get some missile blocks built on this thing. Oh, what are you doing here still? Let me remove that. Get up top here. Okay. There we go. Q. Load. Load. Done. Okay. We are now ready to face our enemies once again. Let's head back. Map. Engage. Urch. Didn't mean to do that, but hey. What can you do? There we go. Engage the air. God damn. You know what? Give me a second. Control alt delete. Task manager. Freaking origin. Kill origin, please. Not ops. Origin. There we go. End task. End task. And origin is dead. Okay, good. Okay, we only have two enemies now. I may not need the turret. Depending on which enemies there are, they are. Nope, there he is. There he is. So we do have at least the flying enemy and something else. My missile turrets should quick make very quick work of him though. Now I should mention, of course, you don't need to hit middle mouse button to fire. You can hit control to fire. I believe I might have mentioned that already, but I figured I'd do it again just in case. Nope, he's just out of my range. Just barely out of my range. There we go. That was a good hit. Okay, let's stop the ship. Oh, he destroyed it. You bastard. Okay, let's move the ship again. Punk. You're beginning to annoy me.
There we go, that shredded him. Okay, let's finish him, boys. Ramming speed! Devour his soul! My little champas. We are having some slight issues here, it seems. Doesn't quite want to be destroyed by these... Okay, let's go finish off this guy. Then I won't have to worry about him anymore. I'll have to add an ammo creator here soon. Something happened. I'm not getting nearly as much oomph out of my drills as I did before. There we go. That takes care of his main weapon. Shred him up. That's one down. Now I just need to reload. Okay, one second. Let me scroll away here for a moment. Build on the ship. Let me go resources and get an ammo ammunition prospect. <laughs> Ammo processor. Okay, build. If only I could find what where he's keeping his uh, ammos or ammo storage barrels. Oh, whatever. I'm tearing them apart piece by piece. That was a huge miss. Damn it, I was trying to hit his engines, but I missed it completely. Come on. Die, you annoying bastard. Try to hit him in the ass. There we go. I want to see if I could take out his... Oh, there we go. That made a difference. Keep aiming for the ass end. Looks like the front also has the... Uh, what the hell is it called? Jets that are holding him stable right now. So if I can take those out, then I won't have to worry about him anymore. He will be in the sea, and then I can deal with him. Perfect. Slowly killing this guy. Ooh, very nice, very nice. It's not, you know, perfect. Obviously, I could be using my tri my triple to do this, but hey. It's getting the job done. This poor guy, I'm surprised he's not falling down right now. There we go. Oh, no, I missed it. Just barely. <laughs> wow, I've shredded this guy into practical nothingness, and he still lives. Where the hell is your ammo bay? There we go. He's going down. Let's get him. To the right. Oh, it took out my freaking propellers, I think. How dare you, sir. There we go, we're repaired. It's going up again, though. Come on, shred him. He must have repair bots on that thing. Otherwise, he wouldn't be... He should not be flying still. I mean, come on. I've lowered down the uh, the cone as much as I can. There we go. Here he comes. Here he comes. 
There we go. Now he's in my alley. Let's get him. Get him! Drill ahoy, sucker! There we go. Oh, beautiful. Shit's happening. Oh, we got him. We got his, we got his, uh, his flag or his, uh, controller. That took a while. That was an epic battle right there. That was an epic battle. Okay. So. We succeeded. And the good thing is we got a lot of resources from him. Okay. Let me go to the zone now. Let me stop controlling the missile turret. Thank you, missile turret. You did a fabulous job. I am proud of you. You can snap back to attention now, sir. So we'll head over here and I'll start spawning in my other... Well, do I want to spawn it in or just want to make another one like that? I don't know. I don't think I have... I'll have to set something up for that. Let me check my map though quickly. Make sure we're not under attack yet. So the next one over just has is, has crystals and a trace of everything else. Onyx Watch. Now I don't want to piss off the Onyx Watch at all yet. Eventually, yes, but for now I'll just conquer all of the... Oh, this is also Onyx Watch territory. Okay, I'll conquer all the Deepwater Guard territory and get that settled and dealt with. And then I will move on. I love the ship. It works so well. It's beautiful. <laughs> so beautiful. Ah. Okay, let me go. Uh, simple weapons, drill, large drill. Huh, whoops, a little bit too far. Okay. Likewise for me. Let's stop. Okay. And let me turn this off for now. We don't really need to be wasting fuel keeping this thing running now, do we? There we go. Now I will modify this, however. Missiles, torpedoes, missile block. And I will add on the third missile. Oh, I see the problem is. Missile, missile block, missile launch pad, which I forgot to add. Then missile block. Okay. Load. Frag. Load. Beautiful. Beautiful! Alright. Let's go... Not wood blocks. Likewise, again, I'm going to add a better defensive structure around this thing, just to keep it from getting damaged. Okay. Alright, sweet. Now, let's go build menu. E. Constructibles. I want a brand new fortress. Oops. Okay, let's see here. Engines, engine block, crankshafts. Okay, cylinders. Let's go carburetors. Okay, engines on fuel tank. Okay, let's go resources. Fuel storage tanks. I'll add these right here. Fuel processor. That should keep this beast afloat. Let me go engines again. Fuel tanks. 
There we go. Blocks of wood. And with that, I will transition over to the new vessel. Oh, yes, yeah, so and now that I have enough, let's go water. Air pump. And let me build some air pumps right here. So I don't have to worry about this thing drowning or drowning. Ah, getting too much water on me. Okay. Now, let's see how you're doing. Resources. Let's get a oil drill in here. Get some resource gatherers. Okay. Engine. Carburetor. 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 Crankshaft. Cylinder. Oh, let me get off top of that. Thank you. I am in the way. Cylinder. Cylinder. A couple of carburetors. And then finally, a couple superchargers. And then, f for, well, not completely finally. Now I can add on exhaust if I had enough resources, which I no longer do. Oh well. That's okay. Either way, we have this thing running. It's mining for me. I shouldn't have to worry about it as much. So let's get out of here. I love it when a plan comes together. Okay, map. Let's see if we have pissed off our friends yet. They have yet to send a fleet our way. Okay, I will, in that case, let's go down, let's go up here first, actually. We'll engage this area number seven. And engage this map. Oh, stretch and stretch. And love it. Okay, where's my enemy at? We scroll up to five, so I don't have to control this thing yet. I forgot. Let me turn this on. So our enemies are in that direction. Forward ho! tally -ho. Looks like, so far, they're probably just regular sea craft. I may give them one good volley with my missiles, but I don't want to worry too much about it. Otherwise, I would see them dancing in the sky right now. Uh, let's see. Damn this fog. Oh, I see. It looks like they might be on the other side. Of the nope, they're not on the other side of the island. They're actually right in front of it. I'll have to wait a while till we get a lot closer before I can fire this. Yeah, the waves make it really difficult to aim well. Somebody said something about caps locks auto-locking onto the ship, but I haven't seen that happen. Seems like some kind of fairy tale to me. But anyway. Out of range. That's okay. I don't need it. That was just a distraction device. Or not a distraction device, but a uh, secondary weapon. So let me revert it back to its usual state. And kind of send my ship up to the front of his so we can get this ram over with. I might be able to make one more shot now. You got that gun. There we go. There goes that gun. And the only threat against the ship. So we'll take out Small Boy first and then his boss. Just because he's in my way. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Explosion. One down, one to go. Didn't even damage any of my uh, drills. Beautiful. End him. The Shredder Unleashed. Oh yeah, they are hating me now. They do not like me anymore. Uh-oh. Oh no! We lost the whole thing. Wow. I knew it was bound to happen at some point, but damn. 
Here, let me go build. And I think it's AI. Is it in the AI? I can't remember. Might be MISC actually. Yeah, it's in MISC. Shield projector, sub vehicle spawner, NPC spawner. Ah, here we go. Repair bots. Damn, didn't have enough. Ah, so it takes a hundred of them. Blocks, wood block, wood block. Well, I had another one when I get the chance. So these little repair bots are like myself. They will repair my ship. I shouldn't really need too much of that. Okay, we're back in action. Now, map. Now that we've unlocked that, we can see that we can attack the deep water guard again here, but they do have an attack level of 15 there, so that's incredibly dangerous. I think I'll engage this area right now. Just to weaken them a bit more in this area. Engage. And once they're a bit more weakened, we can uh, move on. I'm hoping they'll unlock more resource nodes down here that aren't controlled by uh, the other enemies, because I don't want to piss them off quite yet. Like, for a, for a little bit of crystal, I'm not going to piss them off. There he is, exclamation mark. Forward ho! Tally go! Alright, let's go. Let's get him. So this is going to be the final battle for today. Then that is going to be it. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. There he is. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Lie in the morning. Way hey and up she rises. Way hey and up. This way, hey, and up she rises her lie in the morning. Put him in a long boat till he gets sober. Put him in a long boat till he gets sober. Put him in a long boat till he gets sober. Lie in the morning. Ah, usually I do that a little bit better, but whatever. Another time, another time. I'm kind of distracted and I'm destroying this guy right now. So, let's do it. Ramming speed. Should be fairly simple. I wish I could have... Actually, I probably could attach some jet engines to this ship. It would make it really fast, that's for damn sure. I don't know, I might do that. We'll see what happens. Eh, we'll see. Come on, buddy. You could do better than that. Come on. Never mind, I guess you can't. Actually, that one did hit me. Where'd it hit me, though? Oh, nowhere important, apparently. You poor bugger. Urch. That was a good dodge for that uh, explosive shell. Wow, that one is way off. I think they need improved guns. These ships don't appear to be doing very very well at all. Yeah, I know. They're gun. Like, I, I never make guns this small, ever. Like, even when I try and make my guns small, they end up being ridiculously huge. Back up, back up, back up. And he's done. Map. So, they haven't sent a retali- Oh, damn. Damn. That's not bad at all. God damn, that's some sexiness. That's some sexiness. So, let me return to the area map for a moment, take a look at Jan, we'll see if they've- They still have not dispatched any forces as of yet. Now, if you do attempt, you can, I should say, take on their forts. But you're going to need a really powerful army to do it, because they are they are ridiculously tough. 
Anyway, I think I'll return. Let me go to the board map here. I will return back to the main friendly zone for now. And then we'll go invade some other guys later. Okay, got to disable my drill. There we go. Okay, let's head back to our ship. Huh? <coughs> Pardon me. Ah, there she blows. The SS Dragon. Well, not really. But anyway. Maybe maybe once I've improved her a bit and made her a little less sad, then 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 it'll then it'll then it will deserve being called the SS Dragon. But not yet. Not even close. Um Maybe I'll make a gunship. Basically, the, what I'm getting at when I say gunship is quite literally a ship that is almost entirely a massive gun. There we go. Might ram it slightly, but won't do any damage to it. Okay, so, let me hop out of the chair, get on another main vehicle. And we'll call it right here. So let me get up here, log off for now. So next time around, we're going to upgrade our forks engines a bit more. Stretch that out a bit. We, we'll probably modify our main drill ship some more as well. And, pardon me, shift things around. Probably turn on the scrap generator and start generating more scrap. And, you know, yada, 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 so on, so forth. Other interesting stuff. So, till next time, thank you for watching. Have a great one, and I will see you guys another time. Peace out.